And this is a Fox News alert breaking in now with this news. The FBI has busted a terror suspect linked to ISIS. And according to reports, the feds say that suspect was planning an assassination plot to kill the former U.S. President George W. Bush. Jillian Turner's got the latest on this from Washington. Uh, it's a breaking story, and the latest details it reveal is. the suspect, Jillian, has been arrested and is due in federal court in Columbus, Ohio, shortly. That's right, Sandra. Um, Fox News has also confirmed the suspect's name is Shahab Ahmed Shihab. Um, he will be indicted in Columbus, Ohio, any moment now. The charging documents in his, this case were resealed just a short while ago. Uh, we have not yet been given an explanation as to why, but we're hoping for a statement from the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Ohio. Now, here's what we reportedly, what we know reportedly about Shahab. He is an Iraqi national who's been here in the U.S. since 2020 with alleged links to ISIS. He has been plotting to murder the former president, George W. Bush. Now, it is believed that he traveled to Dallas last November for a surveillance mission where he shot video of the president's home and the surrounding neighborhood. Um, this is according to an FBI search warrant application that was filed on March 23rd. Shahab also recruited an entire team to join him in this murder plot. He was planning to smuggle people here into the U.S. across the, the border with Mexico. Freddie Ford Jr., who worked for the former president in the administration, is now his chief of staff, says, quote, President Bush has all the confidence in the world in the U.S. Secret Service and our law enforcement and intelligence communities. Um, we also, Sandra, learned just a moment ago that the former president's nephew, George P. Bush, speaking at an event live, responded to this news. Um, he said it really highlights the national security crisis that's unfolding along the U.S. southern border. All right, one last thing to note for you here. NBC News is reporting an interesting element of this plot. They say that at all times, court documents show that Shahab was talking to an FBI confidential informant and was therefore under some kind of government surveillance, meaning the physical threat to the former president was always low, at least for as long as the government was aware of the plot that was unfolding. Sandra. So at this time, Jillian, we don't have uh, the specific charges that he faces yet, as you mentioned, no. due in uh, court shortly uh, there in Columbus, Ohio. But just digging into the various details we're learning from the various reports, including our own reporting on this so far, is that this suspect was planning to go as far as traveling to Dallas in November to take video around the former president's home and recruiting a team of compatriots he hoped to smuggle into the country, as you mentioned, Jillian, over the Mexico border. I'm sure there's a a lot yeah. more we're going to learn here in the coming minutes and hours. Yeah, and we'll bring it to you, Sandra, as it comes in as soon as he appears in court. Okay, Jillian, on that for us, thank you. You got it. Be back. Brett, John? All right, Sandra, Brett Baer is still with us. Uh, you know, this sounds like the plot against his father as well. The FBI had this thing nailed from the beginning. Yeah. But this is very intricate. Uh, this guy had operatives in Turkey, Egypt, Denmark uh, that he wanted to, and Iraq, that he wanted to bring into the United States through the southern border. It sounds like the plot would be to arm these guys, have them in a van, pull up beside Bush as he was traveling somewhere, open the door and open fire on them. Yeah, I mean, it's <clears throat> very specific, and we should credit Forbes originally with the original mm -hmm. story. Uh, we've confirmed a lot of this. Uh, and now he was talking uh, supposedly to, as Jilly mentioned, two confidential uh, informants where this plot came, was realized. What, what it does is a number of things. One is highlight the security and the Secret Service that is with former presidents uh, that face threats. Not only that, but former members of the Trump administration who face threats from Iran and other countries, specifically because of the targeting of Qasem Soleimani. Um, but secondly, it brings up the issue of the southern border. Yeah. And it really hits hard the national security implications of making that border secure. Because the plan was for this guy to bring these four operatives in through the southern border, get them some sort of visa in Mexico, and then just come in. Yeah. And so the easier that that is, uh, the more porous it is, the more chance that bad guys can get through there. And, you know, a lot of people who are saying that, you know, the immigration problem is we're making it bigger than it is, first of all, go down to those states and talk to the people along the border, number one. Number two, there are time and time again more indications that bad guys are coming through the border. We just had the DHS secretary say 42 uh, suspected terrorists uh, came through, and we know where they are. Uh, 
but we don't. Well, we had so, a story just this morning of a guy uh, who was brought in. Uh, he was apprehended, processed, released. Turns out that he was on the terror watch list. They re, re got they got him again, and he had the GPS, and they tracked him. But <clears throat> he was in Florida, mm -hmm. and so Governor DeSantis has weighed in on this. So I think the southern border issue is highlighted in this, and obviously the specifics and the threat to uh, President. And back to Brett's wow. original point about the re the reporting originally coming to, uh, from Forbes exclusively on this. Obviously now others, including us, reporting on it as well. But Freddie Ford, the chief of staff uh, for the office of George W. Bush, uh, has a statement in the Forbes piece saying, quote, President Bush has all the confidence in the world in the United States Secret Service and our law enforcement intelligence communities. So that statement is out there. But Brett, it also goes to show uh, um, this particular case, that is, how federal investigators and Forbes point this out continue to monitor threats from ISIS even as that group has been severely weakened uh, in recent years um, this would obviously be a big catch definitely and it seems like uh, they're going through the process and they have a lot of details uh, the fact that we have all that we have so far yeah. is pretty unique um, ISIS is a threat so are terrorists we don't think about them as much as we used to uh, but they're still a threat uh, from the Middle East and elsewhere uh, this is very specific in its targeting, but again, the southern border factors in big in this yeah. story. Yep. All right, Brett, uh, good of you to stick around. Thanks. We'll Thanks, see you tonight on a special report. See ya. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.